Hello. How are you this day, everyone? Today, I wanted to talk about curiosity. Curiosity. What happens to our curiosity? Because I think, you know, do you remember when you were two? I talk a lot about being two. <laughs> do you remember when you were two or do you know any two-year-olds? And do you know and remember what it is to be asking why, 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 why is the table like that? Oh, well, why, why, why? And you know, it, it kind of gets frustrating actually, the two-year-olds I remember as a parent. It's like, well, just because, just because I don't have an answer anymore. What do you think? Um, and then somehow, I don't know what it is, because I, I, I was a teacher for a long time, and uh, I don't think it's a teacher's fault or anything, because I've been a teacher. I don't think we mean to, but somehow, you know, when you kind of give an answer, well, this is this, and then the child stops being curious about it and stops imagining it can be something else because now they know what it is, which of course is something we all need to know. We need to know what things are, but then we tend to stop being curious about them. So why? Why curiosity? Well, I um, recently have been studying to be a relationship coach and I've also been studying equine therapy and I parent of two fabulous 20-something year olds and I was a single parent for a long time and I was married twice um, and one of the things I realized um, with relationships is that um, sometimes we stop being curious about our partner and we stop being curious about a situation um, we make assumptions and um, I'm also an artist. I love, I just, I love painting. I, I love ceramics, anything that allows me to be creative. I love dancing. And one of the wonderful gifts of creativity is that it does, it, I, I don't know, Picasso, I am, I'm gonna paraphrase Picasso, something about being a child. It takes a whole life to get back to this wonderness of a child. And um, I, I'm eternally grateful that I, I'm an artist that I get, to, I feel so good that I get to play. I mean, I, it's not that it isn't serious and they're not that are not days that it's, it's a challenge, but actually it's, it's like playing. And a lot of this helps me remain curious. But even so, um, in some of my relationships, I, I, I realize that I stopped being curious about the person. And, um, I stopped being curious about what was going on and I stopped being curious about me. Um, and so I wanna share with you, I've been developing some exercises and some questions. And the first question I ask myself is, well, what does curiosity feel like? And it's something you could ask yourself, what does curiosity feel like? So if I say the word curiosity, what does curiosity feel like for me? It should feel different for everybody or could feel different for everybody. And curiosity for me feels like these big wide eyes. Um, it feels open. It feels tingly. Curiosity feels tingly. I feel like it's full of possibilities. And so how wonderful, open, tingly. And this is how I would like to live my life always. In this, in this feeling of curiosity. And I think we, we get busy, we get stressed, and then we forget, we forget to be curious. And you know, we go to the grocery store, and there's people there working, and there's maybe a checkout person that we, we maybe see them twice a week. Have we thought about being curious about who they are? Um, have we thought about being curious about anything? And so this exercise goes like this. And I, like, I always like to start with simple objects. You will get to know me, hopefully, if you like my videos. And you'll see that I like to start with something that you have on hand. And because I have always had a little challenge in my life connecting to my feelings, I find it a little bit safer. <laughs> I find it safer to connect to an object to start with. And then we're going to move on to people. But 
So the first thing we're going to do is take a, an object that you have, and I, I adore tea. I love tea. It, it, oh, I was saying this morning, this very morning, I was saying to my love, I was saying, well, you know, after you in the morning, I think I love my tea the best. <laughs> it's my favorite thing of the morning. After waking up next to you, my tea is the favorite thing in the morning. And um, so let us take this mug. And let's just be curious about it because we we have these things we have objects in our house and well who made it uh, who sold it what's it made from so uh, this is made from clay i know I, I i'm actually pretty lucky in this because i know who made it but it's made from clay where's the clay from this i don't know so i can imagine i don't know maybe it's dug up somewhere around it's in the earth well, who dug it up was it a machine? I don't know. Did a machine dig it up? Did a person dig it up? Did a person have to take the clay and put it in a bag and the clay got to a ceramic studio, which is just down the road, and my friend Kareen took it out? Um, how, how do they have to clean clay? I don't even know the process. What do they do with the clay? What is, what's the, what is clay made up of? It's uh, some sort of dirt? Um, I don't know. So I'm... Um, and who, the person who dug it up, what kind of life do they have? What, who are they? What, what is their life like? Who, who are they? How much did it, was it difficult for them? Did they enjoy their job? I, I know that Corinne enjoys making this mug, so that's, that actually is kind of a nice feeling. Um, but I don't know anything about the person with the clay and the beautiful, um, I can see that there's a, glaze on it and what's the glaze made from where did the glaze come from and so I can start asking myself these questions and I want you to just ask and ask and ask and ask until you really can't think of another question you know and there's all these cracks in the bottom because I've got water in here right now not tea I'm gonna be honest with you as much as I'd like I should have another I should have another cup of tea today um, you know how did the cracks get there Where's the water from that I'm drinking? What's the journey of this water? Were there, I think it comes from the river here. Again, I'm pretty lucky. I know I, I have a little bit of a sense of where my things are from. And so I would love it if you did this every day with one object. Start with objects because they're just a little safer, you know? Um, and just really be open, be interested be interested and start that thought process and start that feeling process of golly golly it's quite a magical thing I mean I know I've been studying ceramics with Kareen and, and I know how much work goes into this mug I mean I know it's made from a mold because I've seen this mold and but even so she has to mix the clay up and she has to use like a hand zimmer to make sure the clay is the right texture and then she pours it in and then you have to wait a certain amount of time and you pour it out and then you have to wait some more and then you take the mold off and then you have to sand it and make sure it's perfect and then you know my luck I've been breaking mugs left right and center things don't stick as they're supposed to and after you've sanded it I mean this is it really she's done a really nice job um, so if we start with objects great and then I'd like you to move on to the people I'd like you to move on to maybe strangers to start with again start a little bit further away and just be interested you don't have to ask them questions you can but you could just in your head when you go and buy a coffee in the morning well I wonder who this person is that's serving me this coffee I, I wonder where they were born I wonder what their life is like I wonder how they're feeling today I wonder if they like their job I wonder where they got their shirt I wonder why they chose the clothes they chose. I wonder why their hair is like that. Without a judgment, just a question. And it, if you find yourself coming up with a judgment, a like or a dislike, because that's something kind of interesting too, that you have a like, I don't like that shirt, I do like that shirt, I do like this color, I don't, then ask yourself, well, why? Why don't I like that shirt? Why don't I like this color? Oh, actually, I do like this color. Why do I like this color? And start, start this inner dialogue with yourself. And try, if you can, to, with this curiosity, there's, there's no wrong question and there's no wrong answer. And 
once you started this with people, then I'd like you to move on to your closer loved ones. Because, you know, you, you wake up with these people every day and you kind of start taking them for granted. I, I think. I, I, I think I'm guilty of that. Um, and you stop. You might ask them how your day was. But is that really being super curious? You know? How, how was your day? What, what did your day look like? When you woke up, how were you feeling? You know, what, what did you do? What were the things you thought today? What were the feelings you had today? And, you know, you can start. Start being brave and asking a few questions. I, I don't know, I, I always, I've always found it challenging to ask questions. I feel like I'm invading. Um, but it feels good when someone asks me questions, like honest questions, not just how are you and I say fine, but no, how are you? And how are you feeling? And what's going on? And then I'd like you to use this curiosity when a challenge comes up or a situation. And instead of making an assumption about something, be curious about it. Gosh, I wonder, I wonder why they said that. I wonder what could be going on. Not to make an answer of any kind because we don't know, but if you start at least being curious and then you start asking the other person, then you have a chance to actually um, find out and get to know. And the, the more connection we have, even with uh, inanimate objects, the more we realize that this beautiful planet and, and the things in it and the people in it and the animals in it, we're all really connected. And we slow down. Curiosity slows us down too. We just don't walk by our mug on a rush to somewhere else. We take some time. And as a parent and as a child of parents, I think time is one of the and attention is one of the most precious things we can we can give is that we actually have this openness to to be curious about the other person and to not um, make a judgment call about it just to be just to ask why and to be curious about yourself on a daily basis if you can just ask how am I feeling what am I feeling why am I feeling you don't need to answer. It's the curiosity that is um, the most fabulous thing. So there we go for today. Curiosity. Give it a try. And uh, I would love to hear if you have any interesting experiences uh, with this curiosity. If you start to notice more things, if you start to notice your cutlery and uh, your serviettes and your table, and if you start to notice people, more. Oh gosh, I never even noticed that the person who serves me coffee every day, you know, has a piercing here or has a piercing that they don't use anymore or has a tattoo or has fabulous, fabulous taste in shirts. But of course, that's my opinion. All right. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. And I look forward to sharing another um, bit of questions with you next time.